With just two more rounds to come, tensions are high and the battle at the front couldn't be closer. Only total wins separate Softy and Roy and behind them is a four-way fight for third overall. We arrive in Northern Spain for the only pure tarmac rally of the season. It's also one of the fastest, so racing around these tricky hills, expect an event of attrition. Four men had a realistic chance of winning the Dirt 2 Championship as we arrived for the penultimate round of the season, but Alistair and Jacko both knew they needed strong results and to outscore currently to Chris. In the end, the fifth place it was for Jacko, the top Subaru runner, but it wouldn't be enough for him to chase Chris Johnson for the championship. Meanwhile, Dexter had a very solid rally, taking a career-best fourth-place finish in the second tier. Joe held an outside chance of pinching the title from the leading four, but he needed two wins from the final two events, and a man who has claimed podium finishes in the main class before was off the pace of the leaders all rally. Joe finishing 10th in Dirt 2. It was a hotly fought battle between Alex Afro, Chris and Alistair. The gap between these three was never any more than 30 seconds. A couple of scruffy mistakes for Alistair though meant he wouldn't be making it three wins from three, and he himself was out of the championship punt. Chris came home second, seven seconds clear of Alistair, but 11 seconds adrift of Alex Afro. Alex has worn in the Group A vehicles before, back in Australia. This appears to be a car that works well for him. The win for Alex means he's now just nine points back from the title leader. He knows a win in the United States will be enough if Chris is only third. Meanwhile, further down, Welshman Waves was once again spending more of his rally upside down than he was the right way up. There are plenty of close margins throughout the field of 40 drivers, and in the battle for sixth place, this role for Owen on the second stage will ultimately lose him three positions. For fuck's sake! That's not a five! That is not a five! Instead, a ninth place finish for this former three-time rally winner. Dan was looking good for fourth overall, but as is often the case, the gods were out to get him once again. On the final stage, carrying too much speed into one corner, he lost control of his car and was handed a harsh one-minute time penalty. Dan would finish seventh then in the end, just two seconds behind Dom, a man who has been off the pace in the last couple of rallies, and a scruffy second and third stage once again left him further down the order. A solid final leg though gave him the boost he needed, finishing sixth overall and looking good still in his fight for third in the championship. Luca was second at the halfway point of Spain, but a puncher on stage four destroyed his rally. In the end, the Manx man having to settle for fifth, another huge opportunity missed. Zach was chasing a second podium finish of the season, but his speed just wasn't enough to take it this time. Four seconds behind eventual podium placer, Phil. Some will question just how Phil got this podium place. Did he bribe the opposition? Was he handed it as the rest of the field felt bad for his old age and slow pace? Did he find a cheat within the game that meant he skipped a stage to finish so highly? All we know is that he credited in third position, closing the gap to third overall in the championship. This wasn't one of Roy's finest rallies. He only finished in the top three of a stage on three occasions, and each of those times it was only third. But that costly mistake for Luca handed him second overall, and a position that keeps him with a solid chance of yet taking this title away from Softy. The man out front for the fourth time this season was of course Softy. Winning all six stages, it was a dominant display from the man looking to claim his first title in the rally league. This was one of Softy's finest drives. Not putting a foot wrong all rally, he'll be pretty proud of this one. So a fourth career victory for Softy, over a minute and a half clear of closest challenger Roy. Phil's clearly been paying his rivals to slow down for him, once again a fluky podium for the northerner. Luca will be disappointed with fifth, without his one minute time penalty, a second place finish would have surely been his. Alex Afro was the best of the Dirt 2 drivers and sitting 10th overall, that's the highest we've seen a second tier driver all season. Just 18 seconds of difference between the front three, with Dexter an excellent 13th overall. John had a rally to forget, this his worst of the season so far. Of the 40 starters, 14 failed to finish. Jack and Danscar missing from the results because they rage quit and didn't back out properly. Former two-time champion Chris Logan is having a season to forget. Another non-score is not what he was after. With just one more event to go, Softy is five points clear, and if Roy is to win the championship, he'll need the victory in the United States, with Softy no higher than third. Zach's fourth place was enough to move him into third overall, now one point clear of Dom, and a further seven clear of Phil. In Dirt 2, now only Chris and Alex Afro can take this championship. Nine points is the margin, but with Alistair likely to be involved, it really could swing anyway. There's so much to decide throughout the field, and with both championships coming down to the wire, the next event is going to be a thoroughly tense affair. With large rocks hidden between the grass, this is a rally where anything should be expected. Here's to an incredible final round. <laughs>